I'm going to try and survive the next 100 days in Ark Survival Skyrim. And if I end up dying, this video ends. On day one, I woke to the sound of waves crashing against rocks. And lo and behold, the ship that I was a crew member of had been completely destroyed. I started to rise like the Lord himself before surveying the area and realizing that I'd been left stranded on an island. I checked the wreckage to see if there's any more survivors, but unfortunately there wasn't. I stole what I could and then swam my way to shore. Oh, there's two dinos over there. I don't know if they're friendly, I'll just stay away from them now. And uh, oh, it appears to be loads of walruses or walrus eye. God knows what it is. It was at this very moment that I remembered the countless hours that I'd spent on Ark Survival Evolved. And I realized that in order to survive, I would have to gather some necessities. I started to gather some branches and rocks and ultimately managed to build myself a stone axe. I swung my axe a few times at a tree just to get some wood. And whilst I was doing that, I did sort of stumble across a T-Rex. Now, there was no way of me killing or even approaching the T-Rex as pretty much one hit from him will kill me instantly. So I decided to run away like a little coward back to the beach. On our way back to the beach, I got confronted by a wolf who didn't really stand a chance as he got a stone axe to the face. I looted his pelt as that was a vital ingredient to set up our camp. Whoa, dinosaur, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> um, that's so random. It was near the end of the first day and I decided to set up my camp. This looks like a very good place to put the campfire. Yep, we'll place that one there. Lovely stuff. Now, we're going to have to try and light it. So if we just whack all the dead wood we've harvested. Go on, you can do it, son. We have fire. Yes. Right, I'm also going to go and make some rough bedding. There we go. And I will probably place that around about, let's say, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll probably do right there. Lovely stuff. Perfect. Now, I am going to make a bow before I go to bed. Yes, and tomorrow we will need to get some more ingredients to make some arrows. Oh, look at how beautiful that sky is. Well, that is day one officially over. And day two, well, this is how it started. Oh no, T-Rex. Oh. Right, I've managed to lose him. Just hiding like a coward on these rocks. I just need to not die now, as that will mean the run will be over. Now, we need to make some stone arrows, so I'll get those. Right, I might as well harvest this Spinosaurus. I know it does obviously have some meat. Um, what have we got here? Plates. Interesting. Leather and... Ah, there it is. Meat that literally looks like a steak. I then spent the next two days running through the forest, pretty much hunting and killing anything that came in my path. Notably, I managed to kill a few elks, which I then decided to harvest and skin them just so I can get their pelts. On day four, I finally made it back to my camp, decided it was time to make some armor. Oh yes, look how cool I look now. I'm ready, I'm like a proper survivor. I spent the rest of the day skinning the animals that I'd managed to kill, and in the evening, I was able to upgrade my skills through the campfire. All right, so firecraft is the only one we can do, so uh, that'll have to do, lovely stuff. I believe that makes us, uh, well, makes it quicker for us to make fires. On day five, I decided I was gonna pack up my camp and explore the beach. It didn't take me long as I found another camp quite quickly. Oh, this is cool. Who do we have here? It's a smuggler that appears to have a shovel. Stick him out of his head. Yes, this does look like a very good camp. Oh, we've got potions here. I'll take those. Uh, what is that, paling? Nah, it's not enough damage. Well, I mean, this is a good camp. We should uh, definitely keep this as our camp. Day six started off as beautiful as the weather. Nice and rainy. And it was the perfect time for us to go and search ships in the middle of the sea. Right, I can't really see anything at the moment. What is in this crate? No. Oh, hello. Chest. What do we have in here? Oh, my taste. An ebony sword. Okay. I'll, um, yes, I'll, I'll take that. And hunting bows. Got some iron arrows. Yeah, what a find. Uh, now, I've got too much items after taking all of that from the chest, so I'm just going to shove as much crap as I can in this chest. Right, and uh, I believe, yes, the, uh, the rain has gone, which is excellent stuff. Now, we need to go and get some more food because I am currently starving. We might as well take the hunting bow and use the new native arrows that we've got, see if we can hunt something. 
Yes, Walrus. Unfortunately, you have been chosen. Or Hawker, should I say. It's basically a Walrus, though, isn't it? Let's be honest. And you're dead. Oh, I did like a fake shot then. I then harvested all the Hawker meat. And then I cooked it back at our camp. Just going to spam this right here. For all of day 7, day 8, and day 9, I would spend hunting and gathering as I decided that it's about time that I leave the beach and explore this island further inland. On day 10, I managed to get enough pelts to make a full set of armour, and with my ebony sword and my new cool walking stick, I set off to explore this Jurassic Island. Yes, it's about time that we leave this camp. You've done us well, but uh, it's about time we head inland to explore this Jurassic Island. There's only one issue that lays in, lies in our way, uh, and that is the T-Rex. So there's a ship right here. What I'm thinking is that we can cheese the T-Rex by luring him over here. We get in the ship. He can't obviously get to us and we can just shoot him from the ship. Come this way, T-Rex. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> so if I can jump onto this ship. Good old Skyrim, mate. <laughs> you can't see me. Oh, and he died. Oh, where am I getting? Who's attacking me? I spent most of the day traveling inland, and soon it started to get dark. Luckily, I spotted what looked like a tower in the distance, but heading towards it almost ruined this playthrough. Oh, it looks like a tower. I mean, that'll be quite a good. Oh. You came out of nowhere. Yes. Blimey. I need some... Yeah, I need some health ASAP. Um, I mean, it's nearly night time, so I might as well... Oh, it's a mud crab. Imperial post. Oh. Who are you? That's close enough. Smuggler, hello. <laughs> On day 11, I decided to check how far I travelled from the beach, and I decided that the best and safest route through the land was to follow the river. I found what appeared to be two statues guarding a mountain pass. It kind of gave me Lord of the Rings vibes. Oh, wow. Well, that is very, very impressive. And if only I could... Uh use a boat to travel through. I might have to just swim my way. I saw that there was a wrecked boat, and when I checked inside, I found something pretty useful. A crossbow! Oh, yes! Oh, wow. Yes, indeed. I'll take that. I woke up the next day and felt the urge to test out my new crossbow. It's safe to say, I was very impressed. Whoa! <laughs> what a shot. Oh, lovely. Do you know what? I'm going to skin that. And that will give us some good pelts for us to use for some more armour. Because it's about time that I start upgrading. Because, not going to lie, my nipples must be freezing like this. I then spent hours MLG sniping any animal I could find. And then was able to finally cover up my cold nipples with some more suitable attire. Day 13 was rather boring. But I did manage to stumble across the biggest dinosaur I had seen yet. Oh my day, look at the size of that. Oh, <laughs> I really want to tame this creature. Imagine having you on my side. My days. Well, I'm going to definitely take note of this position because I'm going to come back and, and get you because I can imagine you're an absolute monster. Now, I've just found this. Uh, Holand? <laughs> Holand? Is, is that a great name for this place? Oh, we have Forsworn boots, Forsworn gauntlets, and... Forsworn helmet, which uh, I'm going to take all of those. Well, we have some leeks. Now, this is perfect because I believe with leeks we can tame some dinosaurs. So I'm going to probably give that a go. Oh, what's this? It's like a troll skull. It's like a burial site. Blimey. What's in here? Star rim? Oh, my days. Well, I mean, I'm going to take this because... I don't believe the person that it's meant for is going to use it in the afterlife. Um, wow. 
Look how primitive that is. That is crazy. On day 15, it was time to use the leeks to tame an animal, just for a bit of company on our journey. Now, I haven't actually been able to find anything, um, but this little creature right here, this little mosquito thing. So, I'm going to see if I can try and tame this bad boy. I mean, it'll be quite interesting to have a little mosquito pet with me. So, let's see if this works. Do I want to tame this animal? Yes. Oh, my days. This animal eats your offering and begins following you. Wow, I've got a little pet mosquito. Or whatever you are. God knows. Well, follow me, my friend. <laughs> now, um, I'm going to... I believe there's a road over here which I am going to follow. Right, I believe I found something. It looks like um, some sort of native village. So I'm going to go and check it out. Um, mosquito friend is still following me, which is excellent. It's basically just my little pet now. Oh, blimey. It's a nice little setup and camp. Hello. Need something? Slasher. Need something? Oh, you've got items for sale. Force one bow. You've got some armor as well. Oh, blimey. And you sell iron ingots. Do you know what? That's very, very good. I can sort of sell some stuff to you. Oh, wow. Now, I can't find a place to sleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going <laughs> to decide just to put all of my stuff down here. I mean, it's up to them if they want to tell me off or not. But uh, if I just put my bed, I'll sleep. I'll sleep. I'll sleep right here, look. Where the chickens are. I'll sleep with the chickens. And that's where I belong. <laughs> I ended up staying the night in this small native village. And the next morning, I had great ambition to build a settlement of my own. Hi. Now, it's nice and bright and early in the morning. And I was thinking, little mosquito friend, that uh, we sort of need to set our own base up. I mean, this does look cool. This is a very good spot, a spot to come and yes. trade our goods and obviously get some goods back. But um, I really need a home of my own. So I'm going to try and find a place to stay and then I can set up camp and start building stuff. I ended up selling all of my looted items and in return, I bought most, if not all of the iron that was in the village. This iron will hopefully be used to start building. Uh, we just need to find a perfect place to start. Now it's quite easy to realize how beautiful this mod is. Um, can you not do that please buddy? I'm just trying to sort of kill someone at the moment, or kill something. Oh, right in the head. Over the next 10 days, I wandered this fast land, chopping trees, and mining the occasional iron that I came across, until I finally found a spot that was suitable for a settlement. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, this looks well cool. Fisherman's friend. Hello, would you like to be my friend? Don't hum me. What the hell? Oh, wow. Okay, there's a cow. Hello. Oh, that's a good set of lungs on you, boy. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yes. Yes, this looks like the place. Oh, hello, chicken. We've got chickens, cows. We've got a boat there as well. What is that over there? Let's try to snipe it. What's all that about? Come here, you loser. Die. No. Oh, my boy. I killed my boy. Anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to try and clean this place up a little bit. Because um, I'm not going to lie. This is definitely the perfect place. What have you got on your bone mill? No, I don't need that. Yeah, so I reckon this is our. It's going to be our base. I think we'll have to clean it up. I spent the next few hours cleaning up my new base using the good old console commands. This took me round about a day to do as I kept deleting the wrong things. But ultimately, I think it turned out better than expected. I will need to refurbish the property, which I decided to do the very next day. Now, I did also notice at the back of the house we do actually have our own pet slaughter fish. Yeah, look at you. Hello, buddy. Which I decided to kill a chicken I instantly decided to go and feed it to my new friend. There you go, buddy. Have that. I also managed to persuade this lovely native warrior to join our cause. And you're probably wondering what the cause is. Well, the cause is because why the f*** not? Day 28 was 
the start of renovation day. And I decided that the first thing I needed to do was build a workshop. Now, creating a workshop enables us to start building our settlement. In order to build the workshop, we had to get a few items. Luckily, right next to it had a smelting pot and also a wood chopping block. I no joke spent all day just constantly chopping wood just so we have enough materials to build this workshop. I then was able to smelt most of the iron that I gathered and bought. And finally, I managed to build the workshop. The next day, I placed down my new workshop and then decided the first upgrade that I'll do is to make an enclosure for the cows around my base. And I also decided to make another larger one for any potential dinosaurs I take. Oh my days, this is like the longest trip carrying the firewood from over there to here. I might have to find a quicker way. The firewood situation was easily sorted as I was able to build a chopping log and I decided for efficiency to place this outside my house. On day 30, I decided to clear the plot of land and place all of my fences for the enclosures. It turned out quite well. As you can see, we have a smaller one for the cows and also a larger one which we will have to place our tame dinosaurs in. I also planted our leeks, just so we have an endless supply, just in case we come across any dinosaurs that we want to tame. Right, that is looking pretty good, and our enclosures are looking absolutely amazing. Now, we have a big one, obviously, for the dinosaurs right here. It's, uh, it took us quite a long time. On day 31, I decided it was now time to tame a dinosaur. Right, now, before we tame our dinosaur, there is one more thing I need to do, and that is to clear this little plot of land right here. There we go, lovely stuff. Look how nice and well, neat that is. Isn't that right, Native? Well, it's neater than what it obviously was. Now, the dinosaur that I'm thinking of trying to tame is that one. Oh, hello. You're a very colourful snail, aren't you? Right, let's see if this works. I'd like to tame, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we have a dinosaur. Finally. Finally. Yes. Yes, you need to follow me. Lovely stuff. See how big he is. Oh, he's a big boy. Come on, dinosaur. This is your new enclosure. Yeah, you can stay right here. I've cleaned this whole land out for you. And you can just stand right here. So let's tell him to wait. There we go. And you stay right there. Well, that's perfect. I've got the cows and the dinosaur in here now. Excellent stuff. On day 32, I started to finish clearing the messy landscape behind my house. It did not take long, as when it was completed, it did look quite clean. I also decided that today I would start renovating my house to make it more livable. I, no joke, spent about 11 days building and making the walls and roof for my house. It ended up being very costly to make, and I thought I'd just sum it up for you, lads and lasses. And if I showed you the full time it took for me to gather all the materials, it would be very, very boring. And finally, on day 43, it was somewhat completed. And now look at this, we've finished the roof and some of the walls. I mean, to be honest with you, the roof, there's a little bit of clipping going on, but I mean, it's the best we can do. I mean, bear in mind, this is Skyrim, it's not Minecraft or obviously Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, I have placed a few items around, like shelves and stuff like that. It's just uh, I had, a, you know, some spare wood laying over, hence why there's no bed. Now, I could spend uh, probably about the next 1,000 hours sort of doing up my house and upgrading it, but there's no point. Now that we obviously have our own amazing dinosaur, which is ridiculously loud, and we have our amazing warrior right here, it's probably about time that we start collecting more dinosaurs. So uh, I think we should go and gather most of our leeks because I believe, yes, there is. There, it looks like there's a Triceratops over there. So we're going to try and tame that bad boy. I was thinking also to give me a challenge. If I can try and tame one of every single dinosaur and at the end obviously have some massive collection of dinosaurs like a zoo, that'd be quite cool. Now let's see if we can tame this creature. Meat. It requires meat to feed this animal. Interesting. Okay, well, I believe there is some meat back at our farm. We can kill a cow, I guess. Go on, girl. Oh, hoo -hoo. you're very strong. I like it. Ah, uh, he's not interested, native. Let's try this one, then. 
Would you like to join my crew? No. Ah, oh, well, that's a massive shame. Anyway, uh, it's probably worth us sleeping now. And then tomorrow we can go hunting for some more creatures to tame. Right, today's the day, native, that we need to go and fetch some more dinosaurs. I mean, we haven't really explored much around our base. So uh, I'm going to bring this man along with me. So if you just uh, follow me, my good sir. Lovely. And hopefully we can catch up some more dinosaurs. I thought I would first start the exploration just north of my camp, just to see what I can tame and also kill. I also decided it was due time to change the name of our native, and I came up with the name Bull Crusher, because that sounds very fitting. Right, what have we come across here? Well, let's see if I can tame this bad boy. Yes. Yes! What are you? I don't know what it is, but I tell you what, it's following me now and I'm extremely happy. Come on then, big man. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you're so strong, aren't you? I love it. Yes. Oh, we have a big one now. Look at you. You're huge. <laughs> We've got such a collection of random things. Human, dinosaurs, and bugs. I mean, it sounds like a quite a good little mix to me. While searching through the forest, I did come across something very interesting. Oh, what is this? Bears and a troll. Oh, no, two trolls. All right, lads, it's probably not worth rushing in yet. It looks like someone T posing. Kill them, guys. Oh, no, he's got in the way. All right, well, it does look like someone is T posing here. Um, hello? Why are you T posing? <laughs> Rustic cleaver. Of cultist mask. I mean, that's quite a cool mask. I'll take that. Oh. Okay. Whoa, what are you? A unicorn? Oh, yes. Oh, my days. Now, this is, um... Yeah, this is getting a bit wild now. <laughs> I've now got a unicorn. Now, I'm definitely going to keep this because it's a lot quicker for me to travel. Let's just hope the uh, animals can catch up. Interesting. What is that? It looks like some sort of castle or, or village. Now, I'm going to try and get off and see if I can tame one of these creatures. And it has just started raining, which is typical. Yes! <laughs> yes, we've got one. Oh, yes. Alright, come on, guys. Alright, this looks like a, like an abandoned castle. Or a little fort. So it appears that this is actually not abandoned. Hello, guys. I'm here to... Wait, are they... Soldiers, lost legionary. Well, I'm just going to stay the night here, guys, if you don't mind, in your... <laughs> In your camp. Now, um, would you guys like to join me in my adventure back to my home? Because, I mean, it says you're lost. Yes. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> Look at my squad. It's an absolute joke now. Well, at least we know that we're going to get home very safe. What I thought was a shortcut through a mountain pass turned out to be a whole new area of this Jurassic Island. I said that I will return back here to explore when I'm more powerful, so for the next two days, I started to head back to the base to prepare myself for this newfound area. Oh, finally. After many a days, we have made it back to base. <laughs> oh my days. That took longer than expected. Uh, we have our entourage making our way here. Now, 
<laughs> I need to definitely make a bridge coming across here. So I think that's what I probably might do in the next day or so. Let's get these guys back first. Come on, guys. This way. Into your new habitat. <laughs> yes. You can stay here. So uh, I will just tell you to wait here. That's fine. And you can wait here as well. Come in, big man. Thank you very much. You're taking your time, aren't you? Come on. In you come. Or just climb over, that's fine. <laughs> it was day 50, and I decided that the best way to celebrate was to further upgrade my base. Because I had quite a lot of wood left over, I decided to make a few pointless things, just to make my base look a little bit nicer. Whilst I was doing this, I did stumble across a scarab, which uh, I managed to tame, believe it or not. I put him straight in our cage, then I continued on building. The most important build I made was the bridge, which connected the base to the mainland. All in all, I think the base looks alright now, especially with that new bridge. Hopefully, the NPCs will use it. Right, troops, we need to go and hunt because I have run out of food. I, I'm not just going to butcher the cow, um, so we're going to have to go and hunt for something. Uh, do you know what? I knew they just wouldn't use the bridge. <sighs> Bloody pathfinding. Right, this looks like a good place to hunt. Now, I think we're definitely ready to hunt some dinosaurs. Now, I think this big boy right here will probably provide some good meat. Perfect. Oh, my daisy was quick there. <laughs> he doesn't do much damage, guys, so we should be able to take this one down relatively easy. Are you just going to sit over there and let me just snipe you? Okay. Oh! Now, we can try and take out a mammoth, because I believe this will provide some good meat. Oh, it's running away. Come here, mammoth. I'm sure it'll just be one hit kill for me as well, so I've got to just stay behind it. Yes. You're dead. Alright, I'm going to try and tame this creature. Oh, yes. Yes. We have one. Blimey, look at the size of that horn in your head, my friend. That's going to help us out massively. Come then, little man. He says you are following me, so... Ah, yes, there we go. He's, he's chasing me now. Right, I think this is a good spot to sleep tonight. Uh, it's quite a cool little cove bit. Massive bones. Oh, what is that? Is that a Spinosaurus? Uh, guys, I'm going to need your help to fight this thing over here. Oh, my days. Look at the size of you. Nice little block. Oh, you're huge. That's what she said. Do you know what? I'm pretty safe here. It can't come through the cove. So I'm just going to just take little sneaky shots. Just try and cheese it from here. No, oh, this feels illegal. He can't get through to eat me. But uh, unfortunately, you've got to work smarter, not harder. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got loads of food. Yeah, I'll, I'll take all of this. I stayed the night in this newfound cove, and the very next morning, I set off to do some more exploration. Quite a few bones here. Uh, does that probably mean potential danger? I reckon it probably does. Now, what do we have around here? Oh, hello. Oh, is that a troll? Fighting two dinosaurs. Well, three now. I'm a troll. Okay. <laughs> oh, flip it out. It just took that out. Uh, can you get out of the way, please, sir? I'm trying to shoot this armoured troll. I mean, I'm surprised you're not attacking. But staring at me and getting in the way. That's not helpful, is it? He's killed all of the dinosaurs on his own. Blimey, this guy's a strong one. Oh! <laughs> nice little nudge there, my friend. Hold on, guys. Right. Uh, oh, hello. Who do we have here? Who is this? Wait a minute, is that... That's Bone Crusher. What are you doing here? <laughs> I thought you'd run away. What? What? Blimey, hello. Well, guys, this is the lady I was talking to you about. You know, the absolute warrior weapon. Don't get on the wrong side of this one, I'm telling you. Oh, my days. Oh, hello. What are these? Raptors? Go on, guys. Kill the raptors. Oh, little baby raptors as well. Flipping out there quick. Oh, go on. <laughs> One hit. <laughs> One hit on it. Oh, you're an absolute beast. 
<laughs> Blimey, he's so, so powerful. Oh, a cave. Or Boric Cave. Let's have a look. I have a feeling that there's going to be something creepy around here. And yes, there is. Okay, there looks like a giant right there. <laughs> Hello. Is this your home, is it, my good sir? Okay, yes, it is, because you're trying to attack me. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Whoa, well done, mate. That was um, very powerful. Um, have a nice little swim there, my friend. Alfred. Alfred the Giant has a name. Okay. Well, Alfred, if you're just going to have a swim, I'm just going to attack you. Because um, it doesn't look like anyone else is attacking you. Just giving him a nice little headbutt. Oh, he's got some power on him, hasn't he? I mean, we have just come into your home. And you're dead, Alfred. Sorry. Dragon bone arrows. Yes, very powerful. Right, well, I mean, it's probably worth just staying in here overnight. Don't know how a giant's going to sleep here. Mine is close. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably sleep here tonight then. And then we'll set off tomorrow morning. Right. Um... What is that? Oh, my day is a T-Rex. Guys, we're under attack. Oh, no. Bone Crush is dead. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Um, I mean, she won't be needing the Nord medicine. Let's see how powerful this is. Oh, it's quite a beast, isn't it? Oh, only oh, dead. Nearly dead. <laughs> Come on, then. Oh, he does so much damage. Yeah, I'm not willing to die yet. I'm not on day 53. <laughs> Go on, lads. Kill it. He's only one more hit and he's dead. Someone. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, my God. One more hit and I'm dead. Oh, blimey. What well on, guys. Oh, what a shame. Bone Crush is the only one that died. Okay. Now, I was walking across and I did see this ship in the middle of the sky. Aguer? Ag Aguerry? Blimey, I don't know how you say that, but um, oh, it looks quite quite cosy up here. Don't know how a ship's managed to get on this mountain, though. Ancient Nord War Axe. No, you haven't got anything special on you. Um, I mean, this doesn't work having a dinosaur in here. It's a bit bit cramped. Empty wine bottles. Oh, no. Nah. It doesn't look like there's anything useful in here, unfortunately. Wow. This looks pretty beautiful. Look at that sunset. Oh, my days. Yeah, this EMB for this this mod looks outrageous. The watch. Oh wow. What is that? <laughs> what's the what's the point in that? Is that keeping that up, is it? Oh, let's give it a go, shall we? Even though if I fall off, I probably will die. Now I've got to go nice and slow on this. I don't trust myself. I'm making it even harder being in third person as well. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, what's that? Jagged crown? Oh, <laughs> no way. Oh, yes. I can crown myself king of this land. Oh, let me put that on. Let me see how cool I look. Where is it? There it is. Lovely. <laughs> oh, that suits me so well. Now, what is this place that we saw? Across the river. Um, it does look like this could potentially house some someone in here. Some M NPC. Knight Bragon's Tower. Okay. Oh, wow. This looks cool. It's like a training ground. Oh, mate. This looks like a proper base, this. What have we got in here? Oh, ancient Nord armor. <laughs> oh, I don't mind if I do. What else have we got up here? Oh, hello. Who are you? Um, is he friendly? No, okay, he's not. King <laughs> King Bragon. Okay. What has he got on his face? Oh, <laughs> oh blimey, he's so weak. Or are we so powerful? That is the question. King Bragon. What have you got on your face? What is that? Forsworn mask. Flesh. Oh, we'll take that. You. You can get off your tower. Even though it's yours, it's mine now. <laughs> Let's wear this mask, see what we look like. Oh my, we look hideous. On day 55, I made it to the local village and sold everything that I managed to gather. I ended up getting quite a few gold, which I would save just for potential upgrades. 
I ended up spending the night, and on day 56, I found something very, very cool. Hmm, interesting. Well, I mean, there's blood right here, and there's a red dart. Uh, oh, okay, hello. <laughs> T-Rex. Um, can you not fit out of this, this little gate? Let's get my dragon bones arrow out. As you can see, it does actually cause blood damage when I shoot him with these. So, these are very, um, very rare arrows. So, I'm going to try and loot these back. <laughs> right, I don't think there's anyone else in here. Oh, hello, little native. Um, Nord Warhorn. I mean, do I need that? No. T-Rex Vulture Egg. Interesting. Now, the good thing about these, I can actually incubate these and grow my own T-Rex. So, I'm going to take those. And what I might do is I might upgrade all of my armor as well whilst we're here. It's probably worth it. Now, this looks like a different land. What is that? <laughs> Ash Guardian. Oh, my days. Wow. Well, do you know what? I think I might do. Now that I've got these eggs, I think I might incubate this t-rex and when it's fully grown i'll come back here and we can go and raid this place because it looks quite cool all right we've made it back hello guys um wait what where's all my dinosaurs <laughs> where, where have they gone um have they just been let out what hello cow you're here oh he's, he's over there oh no he's escaped I decided to not go and search for my escaped dinosaurs, but instead decided to build up the enclosure to house our new T-Rex. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, little man. Are you my little pet again? Lovely. Um, oh, no, he's escaped. What? Oh, I didn't... Oh, I did a shob, shoddy job. Oh, no. I mean, annoyingly enough, I don't think there's a way of me actually being able to get him back in the ca cage. So, um, I think I might have to let this one go. Oh, well. At least we've got another egg anyway. Right. This should do it now. Yes. I've covered pretty much every single gap there is. I mean, he can't fit through these because I can't. There we go. Let's give this a go, shall we? Hello, big man. Let's see if you can escape now. Hopefully you can't. It's good that he doesn't attack me anyway. That means he's friendly. Oh, what are you trying to go for? You're trying to go for the chicken. Bye, chicken. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You can have this. Feast away. I don't need that chicken anyway. The next few days, I gathered some materials. Whilst I was cleaning the base, I did sort of realise that the boat that is docked up next to my house is actually usable. Oh, wait, wait, what? You can actually use this boat? Okay. Oh, where are we? Oh, Spinosaurus is over there. Okay. Well, this is quite cool. Whereabouts are we? Okay, we're not even that far away from our house. Oh, wow, look at this. Almost reminds me of, like, Shrek's shack. It does appear there's a Spinosaurus over here, so we're going to try and take this out. That did provide a lot of food last time. Oh, he's a quick Spinosaurus. He's not even a Spinosaurus, he's a... Baronix? Well, I mean, I can't even pronounce that name. Oh! <laughs> right, it's time to probably get the dragon bones out, because they are very overpowered. I'm a little bit trapped right now. Oh, I've missed. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Run! Oh, these arrows keep going through the, the body. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I mean, you're going to bleed out on your own, my son. Look, there we go. Let's get the happiness medicine out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I believe that I saw a raptor over here, though, and it'd be nice to actually have a raptor. Yes. I think he's on his own. If he's not, then we're a bit screwed because, uh, I mean, I haven't got any armor on at the moment. And one hit from him will pretty much kill me. So let's hope I can try and tame this creature. Yes! <laughs> That's an interesting howl for a raptor. Oh my days, look at you. Yes. Oh shit, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> uh, can you help me please, raptor? Oh, you're over there. Please help me. Oh, 
Now, where has our... Wait, where has he gone? What is that? Oh, my days. Is that... <laughs> is that our T-Rex? Hello? I mean, you're not attacking me, so maybe. Pet T-Rex! <laughs> oh, yes! Hello, big man. Ride him. Oh, my days. Look at this. Oh, my days. I'm so quick on this. He turns like a freight train, though, which is a bit annoying. But uh, I tell you what, with my Raptor and me and my T-Rex, there's no reason why we can't go and explore that new land. So I'm absolutely amazed how quickly this T-Rex grew. But I'll sleep from now on, and then tomorrow, good old wrapped up, we're going to go and head to a new island and see what we can explore and do. I decided in the morning to tame a new dinosaur just so they can be a meat shield for any new dangers that we face. With this new dino, our raptor, and a lot of supplies, I mounted my T-Rex and began setting off to this new land. Yeah, I love how quick I am at this thing, it is absolutely mental. Oh blimey, look at the size difference. <laughs> my my T-Rex compared to that thing, that's crazy. And oh yeah, if you wanted to know where my unicorn ended up, turns out he's right there, stuck for all eternity just after the entrance. Having reached the mountain pass to the next area, I had a sneaky feeling that this might be a little more challenging than I thought, as I was immediately greeted by angry natives. They didn't stand much of a chance, but it was clear to see that this area will be more hostile. I looted the natives and found out that they had some very powerful fishbone arrows. I overlooked this new area from my T-Rex, wondering what potential creatures we could see or tame. It didn't take long as I stumbled across some swans in the lake. Yeah, these, these swans are merely cosmetic. I can't seem to tame these. That would have been quite cool though. I then spotted a mountain fort in the distance. That was just before I was interrupted by mammoths. Right, lads, let's go to this fort. Um, oh, you, <laughs> why are we ganging up on the mammoths now? I mean, are they trying to attack me? <laughs> oh, blimey, I don't know how I'm pushing this this mammoth along. Oh, I mean, my T-Rex is quite powerful. We just turned too slow on this T-Rex. It's rather annoying. Ah, oh, lovely. Right, we've made it to the fort. Now, I probably think these guys up here won't be friendly, so just keep on guard. No, of course they're not friendly. Oh, go on, Raptor. <laughs> you guys are no match for me or my Raptor. Oh, I can't even shoot straight, blimey. All right, let's uh, see if I can... Yeah, let's get out my happiness medicine. Hello, what have you got? Is that a rake? <laughs> Against my happiness medicine. Oh, so slow. Yeah, you have, you don't really stand a chance of a chance, mate. Last one. Oh, get your skull caved in. All right, this looks like a good place to uh, cook and sleep. On day 66, I set off further inland and stumbled across a prospector camp. Now, what do we have here? Um, a mining camp. Okay. Silver. All right. Hello, my good sir. Uh, you friendly? Ah, oh, it's a lost legionary. So I'll take your health potions. Yep. Yeah. I'll take all of your food. Now, follow me, my big, my good sir. You can come with me on my journey through this land because I don't know where I'm going, um, and I'm sure I'll face quite a few dangers along the way. So uh, let's go. Oh, hello. There's another one. Would you like to also join me? Yes, I found another one on the long way. Feel free. The more, the merrier. The two lost legionaries didn't really last long as they got instantly whacked by two massive giants. I'm coming in for a, a lance attack, trying to be slow as possible. No, 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 I just killed my dinosaur. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> this is such a nightmare. You can't, you can't aim on this T-Rex. Oh, wow, what's this? Ghost Mesa North. Looks like it's like an abandoned city. Wow. Do you know what? This is probably going to be the best place to stay. I mean, there's only two of us now. The next day, I found a dead native on the floor who had some pretty cool weapons. I began testing them out, but unfortunately, they weren't that powerful. Oh, hello. 
the girl wrapped up. I'll take this one. You take the rest. Yeah, they're not that powerful. Yes. Well done, Raptor. Look, I don't even need to fight, to be honest with you, if I've got you. It's crazy. Wow, look at this. This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Like, someone must have spent so long on this mod. Wow. Hello up there. Are you friendly? No, you're not friendly. <laughs> well, time to die. Yeah, these fishbone arrows are probably the safest bet for me at the moment. They do a lot of damage. Oh, That guy looks like he's, he's on absolute smoke. Oh no, the raptor's busy. It's quite annoying that my T-Rex doesn't fight though. That's it, raptor. You take all the damage. I'll just be a little coward and shoot him from a distance. Oh, what a shot. What do we have here then? Some sort of ritual site. Crown of the Mountain King discovered. What do you have? Do you have anything useful on you? Uh, just a bit of gold. Okay. Now, um, oh, hello. There's a T-Rex. <laughs> now, I feel like it's probably about time that we tame the T-Rex. Right, I've got to be very silent and sneak up to him. It's good that there's a few bushes around here so he can't see. Yes! Oh, we've tamed it! We've tamed it! Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! We finally got a T-Rex on our side. Oh, this is amazing. Yes, you can follow me. Oh, my days. Look at him. He's an absolute monster. He's going to kill many people. Right. We've got a T-Rex and a Raptor. I mean, look at the size difference between my T-Rex and obviously the one we've just tamed. But, uh... As everyone knows, it's not about the size. It's obviously what you can do with it. And I can ride that, but unfortunately I can't ride this big boy right here. That sounds very sus. I then gathered both of my dinosaurs and travelled further inland to see what else we could find. I came across these weird fire glowing creatures that, you guessed it, when they hit you, you set on fire. So I let my two dinosaurs take that damage. I just realised when I attack... Uh, with my when I'm on my T-Rex uh, my health actually goes down so I don't know if my T-Rex is hitting me accidentally I found an abandoned settlement which for some reason had an endless amount of cheese it was happy days as I was pretty much starving at this point so to have an endless supply of cheese was perfect it also contained quite a few items that I could take and sell later on but at this point I had to sacrifice quite a few things because I was running out of storage space some weird floating orb on top of that. What is that? Um, throne of the Mammoth King. Okay. Well, I need to sit on this throne. Ah, oh, yes, it suits me. Perfect. Are you the Mammoth King? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try and go in there. Hello, is anyone home? Oh, yes, hello. <laughs> oh! Let's see if I can cheese it. Yes, you can... Okay, fluffy pet. I don't know if trolls are known for being fluffy. Yeah, tribal. We've got no chance against me and my new arrows. Oh! Somebody's throwing fireballs at me. Hello down there. Oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> yes! Getting pasted up against that. Evil skinning knife. That sounds perfect. Alright, what have we come across here as well? This is ridiculous. Is everything just extra large here? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> these Draugr. Oh, they might all be dead, actually. That's good. The council discovered. Oh, the giant just randomly spawned in. <laughs> oh, he, had no, he had no chance. Oh no! Yeah, my friend, you, you've got no chance against my T-Rex and my Raptor. Uh, good job, guys. <laughs> what do we have? Loads of gold. Yeah, I'll take that. Wow. Well, that was uh, rather easy. I think my T-Rex is very overpowered. Do you have anything on you? Some gold? I'll take that. 
The next day, I decided to return home just to drop off all of the new items I had got and also the new T-Rex I had tamed. I also found a very interesting way of killing mammoths. Somehow, my T-Rex was that powerful we could lift the mammoth up and push it off a cliff. And so I decided to do that and it was quite fun until there was no more mammoths left in this land. Yeah, I think we've pretty much killed all the mammoths, especially in this field. Being on this T-Rex is so cool. What is that? Hello? Oh, what is that? Is that a centaur? What are they called? <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for that, guys. I was sat on my T-Rex, but I guess you just knocked me off. Um, I mean, what is that? Centaur? It, what? That's so weird. That's just such a random thing to see in this game. <laughs> um, steel halberd. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty sick. On our way back, we did end up seeing some weird love dance from two mammoths. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing, lads. What do we have here? Some sort of shrine. Oh, it's another giant. The fact that my raptor's almost as big as the giant is crazy. Ah, oh, that was nice and straightforward. Yeah, it looks cool. What have we got on here? Elven axe, T-Rex vulture egg. Oh, yes. Some more eggs. I can actually hatch them now. On day 72, I crossed back into the area where my base was and started to head back. Oh, waiting for this T-Rex to come is so long. He's just such a slow beast. But we've made it back anyway. Oh, okay. Just pop back in. Let's go, guys. Oh, look at that. Just starts raining as soon as we return. Cheers for that. If there is a god. <laughs> they clearly don't want us to be at our base. Uh, are they going to use the bridge? No. Of course they're not. No one ever uses the bridge that I spend hours and days on. <laughs> right, you can stay right here, big boy. Yeah, I know this fence really won't stop you from doing anything, but you guys... Oh, is that your sitting animation? That's quite cool. Yeah, you can just sit and admire the rain. <laughs> oh, blimey. Well, we've made it back, which is very, very good. Let's get these leeks harvested. Now, now that we're back, we might as well continue to do some upgrades to this place because it still looks a bit run down, to be honest with you. Yeah, I was thinking it's probably worth us just sorting out the house and everything around it, just giving it a complete upgrade because, yeah, even though it does look all right, um, it's still a bit run down. My first build wasn't actually the house as I decided to gather enough materials and place a watchtower instead. I wanted something to act like a defence just in case we were attacked and also something where I can just sit up there and admire the surrounding area. The only thing that it needed was some guards. So I went straight to the local village to hire some. The only two that I managed to hire turned out to look exactly the same just with different hairstyles. Must have been some long lost twins. I got back and set one of them up in the tower and the other outside guarding on the hillside. I then built a proper roof for the house and fixed up all the walls. I was very impressed about the result. It actually looked quite nice and cosy now. I built some wooden platforms to make a dock, which would give me another proper way of getting to and from my base to the surrounding land. Ultimately, the base had gone from this to this, making it look and feel like home and a proper fort. But I wasn't done. I built some more fences and planted some more leeks to extend my farm, which is now very efficient and means that I have a more steady income of food. After my expansion, I thought it was about time that I try and tame the strongest dino in the game, the Spinosaurus. Right, I am ready. And I know I'm ready. We can do this. Um, yes, our sneak skill is probably high enough now, so we should just be able to sneak around him like this. I have taken all of my armour off. So let's give this a go. Pickpocket. No, I want to tame. Yes! <laughs> oh, we have a Spinosaurus now. Hello, buddy. Welcome. Welcome to the gang. I then decided to take my new Spinosaurus to where we saw that Ash Guardian, just to see how much damage he can do to all the creatures there. All right, Spinosaurus, it's you against your 
I guess, blood relation. <laughs> Who knows, it could be your mum, your dad, but it does look like it's not even going for you, so it might be an easy kill, this one. Um, I'll help you out, don't worry. Especially with this long pike, this halberd. Oh, I'm going through the body. Okay. <laughs> oh, you are very strong, yes. And there's another one over here, so let's give this a go. Yep, let's see how you can do. <laughs> Everyone's just floating at the moment. Lovely. Oh, yes, it's safe to say you are very powerful, and I'm very happy to have you as a pet. Oh, look at the size of that. Cool, Ash Guardian. It's a shame you can't go in here, though. Um, there's not really much going on around about here. Oh, we've got pickaxe. Oh, that's a cool-looking pickaxe. Let's put that on. It's got, like, daggers on it. Where is it? There it is. Oh, that's quite cool. Alright, I've just mined some heart stones. There's quite a few laying around here, so maybe we can sort of keep that just to sell later if we need to. When we got back to the base with my Spinosaurus, I came across something very sad. Will you use the ramp that I've made? Or the dock? No. Hello? Wait, why are you an enemy to me? What's going on? No! He's... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's floating. Have you? Is he just betrayed me? No! Oh, you, I don't want to kill you, my friend. I want. I want you to be mine. Well, if you've betrayed me, so be it. Oh, flipping! I'm so disheartened now. Why? Oh, I'm surprised the guards didn't attack. No. I wanted you guys to be like a dream team. Where's my raptor gone anyway? Has he killed my raptor as well? Oh, he's eaten. He's clearly obviously killed my raptor and it's despawned. For God's sakes. <laughs> yes, you, you are an absolute traitor. Honestly, so disappointed. Let's take all of my arrows back from you. I'll take all of your stuff. We got, you got a heart. You haven't got a heart because you betrayed me. Oh, there's a skull of T-Rex. Yeah, we'll take that. And the skull, you can be right there. You can be used as a seat now. Yeah, so people can sit on you. Oh, that's so irritating. Well, I mean, at least the sky looks absolutely amazing tonight. Look at that. It's perfect that we've got a tower for it. Um, oh, is that my guard in the corner? Okay, you're doing a good job there, protecting the wall. Wow, look at that sky. The next day was the day to hatch some more T-Rex eggs. As I just remembered that I got them. I built a fenced area away from my main base. As I didn't trust my guards and thought that they would instantly attack the baby dinos on site. Now this looks absolutely perfect. Chops a lot of wood for this. Now let's see if we can put down our baby T-Rexes. Where is it? Oh yes, in the scrolls, weirdly enough. There we go. Sweet. And to be honest with you, it, they shouldn't escape. I mean, I've blocked pretty much every single way out. There we go, lads. Uh, and or lasses. I don't know if you're male or female, but have a bit of fun in there. I'm sure you will. It was day 84, and I felt like I had not fully challenged myself in this world. I needed to prove that all the upgrades I've made to my weapons and armor were worth it. And the only way of doing that was to install a mod that adds three main bosses to this world. So I started to prepare for what could be my last few days. I first went out in search for the dinos to tame. I found a T-Rex and a Raptor. And I also managed to tame that big Stegosaurus that I found earlier on in the playthrough. With the new dinos added to my somewhat Avengers style squad, I began upgrading all that I could before gathering everyone I had and every dino I had and set off to kill the first boss. Right, it should be around. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Hello, big man. I mean, you can see him literally from a distance. Look how tall he is <laughs> compared to the trees. Right, lads, this is what we've all prepared for. Well, what I've prepared for anyway. We've got everyone here. T-Rex, Spinosaurus, Raptor. And uh, where's Big Man? Okay, yeah, he's, he's hide, trying to hide behind a tree. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to use my bow just to kick it off. I'm sure one hit from him will probably kill me. Oh, no. <laughs> Go on, lads. Charge. Charge in. <laughs> 
Oh my days, look how tall he is. I'm just sort of swinging relentlessly with my little pike, my halberd. Go on boys, get in there. Start floating. <laughs> oh my god, my god. Oh, do, do you know what? They're just no match for my whole Avengers squad. He's trying to run. He's trying to run. Chase him. <laughs> Look at the raptor. <laughs> Go on, lads. Chase him down. Yeah, look, he's no match, actually, to be honest with you, is he? Look. Oh, the trouble is, though, he hits me. That's that's game over. That's me done. Oh, he's, is he going to try and run again? <laughs> he's, he's trying to run. Chase him. <laughs> oh, he sort of runs and then he stops. It's like, what is he doing? Oh. Ah, oh, he's been brought down. That's over for you now, my friend. Oh, got him right in the leg there. Oh my days! Well, well done, guys. Good job. Look at the size of him. Oh my days! The size difference compared to me as well. I mean, his club alone is like three times my size. What was he guarding anyway? What is this? this looks like a very interesting tree. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, looks like you've. Suffered a bit, my friend. You're probably not going to recover from that, are you? The only things that we've lost are the natives. Let's see if I can jump up here. Oh. Yeah, I can't actually get in here, but oh well. <laughs> oh, that's a very interesting tree. What do, we have, what do we have here? Yeah, arrows. Yeah, do you know what? I'll take as many as I can. I'm sure I'll need them. Having killed our first legendary boss, and surprisingly, only losing two of our native guards... I looted what I could, slept through the night, and then in the morning, I set off to our next target that wasn't located that far away. When I got there, I noticed that there was actually a little goblin camp, so I decided that I was going to try and hire them to kill this massive T-Rex. For main girl. Yep, yeah, you guys can follow me, and you follow me as well. I'm going to need your help, everyone's help. To kill this big beast right here. Look <laughs> at the size of him, he's an absolute joke. Yeah, he doesn't look like he moves that quick. Go on, goblins, in you go. And my dinosaurs, even though they're just sort of standing still. <laughs> right, yeah, now they're not standing still. Go on, lads. Bring that beast down. Oh, the goblins are running away. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to just use my crossbow on this one. Oh no, my T Rex is down. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, but the size as well. He's, he's literally about 50 times my height. Oh, no. He did actually die in the end. <laughs> oh, T-Rex is dead. Everything's happening at the moment. Everyone's flying. There's random things everywhere. <laughs> oh, how did you get up there? That's a joke. Yeah, I don't want to use my pike because... Oh, flipping hell, he's on me. <laughs> I don't want to use my pike because one hit from him, close range, that's... That's just me dead straight away. And I am definitely running out of bolts here. Oh, it's, everything's going on. I can't even see now. At this point, I just cannot see. Everything's just flying around. Oh, my days. <laughs> oh, run, 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 run. Oh, my... Everyone's just dead on the floor. My T-Rex is dead. I'm surprised my Raptor hasn't died yet. He's doing quite well. My game's like, yeah, sorry. Can't handle this at the moment. There's so much going on. Just sit back here and pop shots at him. Oh, it's, it's just me left, I think. <laughs> I, don't, I think all of my animals are either down or they're dead. So it'll be interesting to see who's left after this. I mean, it doesn't like he can catch up with me. I think he's just bleeding right now. Right, he's nearly down. He's nearly down. I mean, he's not moving right now. I think I might have broke him. He's, well, he's slowly moving towards me. <laughs> the hitboxes are still a bit of an issue. So um, I'm trying to see whereabouts it hits. Like right there. That's quite perfect. <laughs> He's like a balloon. Oh no, he's flying. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my days, what was that? Oh, and now he's vanished. Oh no, there he is. Look, you could just see a, a body sticking out of the rocks. Um, can I loot him? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, my boy's died. Oh, well, you've done well. You've done a good service for me, my friend. Who else is still alive? Well, big man's still alive. Uh, the raptor, uh, but oh no, no, <laughs> my Spinosaurus is dead. The giant T-Rex was killed, and I had lost both my Spinosaurus and my T-Rex. 
but somehow my raptor and the big boy survived. At this point, I was running low on ammos and food to heal my dinos, but I decided to head to the final boss, making sure to travel through the area where my very first camp was. Oh, look at this. This is a throwback. It might not look like a long time for you guys watching this, but it's been a long time since being back here. Oh, hello. Has someone already moved into my camp? <laughs> oh, my days. That was quick. Well, look at this. Hello, my friend. Well, you've got no chance against me now, look. <laughs> Instant kill, look. <laughs> How's that pike not sticking through the ground, honestly? Oh, well, this camp did serve me well when we were here. But I'm not gonna lie, it looks like an absolute shit hell now. We've, I'm pretty sure we've eliminated a lot of the walruses on this little island bit. Oh, hello, a massive whale. Um, wow. Yeah, you look like you've been for a lot, mate. Oh, what's this? Oh, an anchor. Sixty-eight damage. <laughs> oh, wow, flipping hell. Um, this is powerful. Let's. I'm not going to lie, let's test this out on this uh, native right here. Bye bye. <laughs> right in the face. Oh, yes, this is a strong weapon. I'm surprised I didn't run into this <laughs> a lot earlier. Alright, we've made it. Ah, and there we go, he's popped right in. <laughs> That's a very colourful mammoth. Oh, right guys, well, this will be our final big battle. And I understand that this guy is a lot more powerful and there is less of us. I mean, there's only two left. So let's hope we can do this. Hello. Um, I might just have to run up to him and whack him. Oof. Oh, he, he does so much damage. Oh, no. Run, 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 run. Guys, attack. Attack. Oh, well, the, the raptor's attacking. Um, oh, no. He does so much damage as well. All right, let's, let's just get the raptor to sponge. Hopefully, he can sponge a lot of damage for me. Don't know why big man's not in this. Let's use the arrows cause some bleeding damage. I think this is probably going to be the cheesiest way I'm going to be able to defeat you know, these these mythical creatures. I did well last time defeating the T-Rex and the giant. I mean, it, at this point, is is he even attacking the mammoth? He's just sort of staring you know, he's in, he's like morphed into his body. Oh no, the raptor's dead. The raptor the raptor's just died. Oh, we haven't even done that much damage to him as well. This is, this is not going well. Oh, Let's see if I can use this on him. Oh, well. All right, mate. If you can just sponge all the damage for me, then I could just do the rest. <laughs> I mean, right now, you're not even attacking him. You're just sort of staring at him. I mean, it's not really helping, is it? Oh, no. <laughs> he just killed him. He just killed him. No. Oh. Oh, my God. He's, he's after me now. He's after me. Right, this might be a long lost cause because I could just sit here and pop shots at him all day and it's not going to work. It will take absolutely ages. So I reckon the safest option for me is to go back to camp and see if we can enlist any more soldiers. Get the native women in that village. I had failed and all of my Avengers style dino squad had been killed. Now alone with no arrows or means to kill the last legendary boss, I started to head back to the trading village where I spent the next two days regathering my strength and purchasing ammunition. I also managed to persuade all of the local natives to join me in what would be my last fight. All right, I reckon it's safe if we just tame this bad boy. Just so we've got oh, lovely stuff. Just so we've got one of these on our side. Um, let's see if I can tame you as well. It'd be good to have two. But no, okay, fair enough. Oh well, at least we've got you then, buddy. Come on, let's go. I need you for a final battle. All right, I hope you're ready, big man. And girls, I hope you're ready as well. I've enlisted you guys for one last battle. And I know some of you are essential, so some of you can't die. But let's see if you do enough damage. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm back, big man. And I'm ready for round two. Come on then, let's do it. <laughs> she runs it with a pan. Oh, this is carnage. <laughs> this is carnage. Let's, let's just hope he can tank as much damage as possible. And we could just pop shots. It does look like we're doing a lot more damage this time round, though. Um, surprising. But there is quite a few of us. So let's hope we can uh, bring this bad boy down a lot easier. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, run away. Run, run, run. Oh, he's catching up. <laughs> he's so quick. Right. I've got a plan. I'm going to get this bad boy. I'm going to charge in and push him off the cliff. <laughs> oh, 
I think that's the best way of me killing him. I'm going to use my T-Rex to his power. And I'm going to push him off the cliff. Go on. Oh. <laughs> Try not to get hit. I mean, this is the main thing at the moment. Uh, wrong one. Let's see if I can heal up quickly. Now, if I have full health, I can push him off the cliff. Fall off with him and hopefully survive. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. Oh, oh, my God. Please survive, please. Please, please, please survive. Yes. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm alive. Yes. Did he die? Did he die? Please. Yes. <laughs> we did. We did it. We, che we cheesed our way. We cheesed our way off a cliff. We pushed him off. Oh, this T Rex is useful. Oh. Yeah, please don't die now. Please. Oh, lovely. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, that's a very e interesting, cheesy way to kill him. Ancient gold mammoth tusk. Oh my days. I'll be sure to mount that on the wall. If not, give it to the natives. I'll take that. And I'll take everything else you have. Thank you very much, my good sir. On day 97, myself and the remaining natives headed back to the village to celebrate. I woke up the next day and before I set off back home, I decided to give my golden mammoth tusk as a reward for helping me defeat the last boss. And finally, on day 99, as I got back to the base, I was greeted by three fully grown T-Rexes. I killed a few chickens to feed them, and not gonna lie, I did nothing for the rest of the day. Until it was night time, and on the final night, which I stared up into the sky, admired the view, before celebrating with drinking this moonshine I bought from the natives. Before I knew it, it was day 100, and alas, I had survived 100 days in this drastic world. If you do want all the mods, they will be in the description. And if you have made it this far, then you're a legend. So please, if you haven't already, if you could subscribe, that would be excellent. But most importantly, have a great day.